Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is the next part of the Advanced Array Animation tutorial. So, let's just continue going with the camera the camera animation here. So, let's go up, let's go select this here, let's go up to 160, and then let's select this here and just move it down so we can see it, and let's get a side view since we haven't had that in a while. First RZ, move it over. And then we'll just move it over here. Cool. And a new thing about Blender now is, which is a really cool feature, if you like get to the edge, it, it'll just continue on the next side there. So that's really, really cool. Um. Yeah. Okay. Also, one more thing. Uh, I put all of these in between keyframes here, but I probably shouldn't have done that because uh, we c we should just make that a whole entire pass. So right now we're just gonna keyframe the extremes and then we'll refine it later so I'm gonna get rid of those and the way to do that let's go ahead and go to animation here and here we have our uh, action editor so here's our camera here so let's just zoom in here and we did that here so what I need so what we need to do is press A to deselect all of these keyframes B to box select box select this here press X to delete keyframes okay and it's as simple as that okay so now Let's go back to default here. So let's select this to see where the next one is. Next one is at 70. So um, let's go ahead and just move this over here since 10 frames we don't want to be moving it around too much so that we don't get some whiplash action with the camera. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now let's press RZ. Oops, sorry. Okay. Let's rotate it like this a little bit. And then we'll just... Oops, there we go. Make sure... You have to be in the 3D view when you press R, G, or S. So if you don't press it here, it won't... If you press it anywhere else, it won't work, so... Okay, there we go with that. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom out here. Let's press R, X, X to rotate on the global X axis. Let's press R to rotate like this. We'll press G to zoom out a little bit. We can zoom in also by scrolling so we can see what it's going to look like. Okay, so I'll press I. Uh, no, we don't need to press I. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> Okay, so here, let's go ahead and zoom this out. Press R, X, X. And let's go ahead and put this a little bit oblong so it's not quite in the center. Right there is good. We don't want to zoom in on every shot. So, next. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and press RXX again. Bring it back to normal. Actually, let's go ahead and let me show you something. Uh, it'd be a hassle to bring this all the way over to the front view again. So let's just press 1 on the numpad to get in the front view. And once we're in the view that we want to be, right about there, I'd say. Yeah, press Control Alt 0 on the numpad. And then we can just zoom out some. And then we get the clipping, though. So let's just, let's just change the clipping to 1. I don't know why you would want clipping. It's not a good effect, in my opinion. But to each his own, I guess. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so there. Let's go ahead and go up here. Oops. Remember to select the camera. Ah, I keep forgetting you can go do that. I have to say, I really didn't like Blender 2.5 at first, but it is really growing on me. It seems a lot more professional. Hopefully one day it'll be get as good as Maya, but, you know, I don't want to ask for too much from a free program. But, you know, one thing I love about Blender isn't Blender itself, but it's the community. 
I found when I was in the ZBrush forums, I didn't get as much um, responses as I did in the Blender Artist forum. So, you know, thank you guys for helping me out with stuff. I remember when I was first starting out, it was really hard for me to get going. But now I can help you guys out, so that's cool. Okay, so it rotated, so we're also going to do a rotation. And what I mean by it rotated is, oh my god, I'm sorry, that's annoying. But uh, you can see here that these spiraled down like that, so we're just going to, we're going to zoom in here, and then we're going to also uh, rotate it like this. So RXX to get a more, more front view here. Hmm, probably gotta zoom out a little bit. Alright. Location. See where we're at with time here. Pretty good. Okay, so. I think we're gonna need one more part. Or no. We're probably gonna need about two more parts for the camera here, because I said it would be tricky because we have to make sure that um, when it's let me let me give you an example of what I mean like let me show you like you can see here from from here to here that uh, the extreme frames are lined up with, with the entire shot but in the, in between here we have no picture whatsoever right there as you can see so what we need to do is add the is refine the animation by giving it more keyframes so that's all we need to do. So that's what we need to do later. So I don't know how many parts that this could go into. I have no clue. So anyway, back to animation. Here we go there. Go like this. I don't like uh, the camera movement. It's a little sturdier now, so I'm not quite used to it. By the way, I have um. This is Blender 2.5 Alpha 2, so it might be different in the future. Just saying, just in case. But I'm sure the principles are the same. So there we go. Let's just move this all the way over here. Let's see. So this gives me a better view of what we're doing. So now it's not going to be as hard because uh, we have wider keyframes here now. So. Uh, we haven't gotten one of those under shots yet. So let's just Okay, so let's keep going. Also, if you guys have any requests for tutorials, feel free to message me anytime. So, let's see. What was that? Okay, let's just scrub through that really quick. See what... Okay, that's what's happening. Okay. RZ. To rotate the camera. Okay, hold on. There we go. RZ again. And then just press grab to move it over. There we go. Okay. So, now. To 520, let's see where we are on time. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, this is a good time to stop, so, uh, did I add a keyframe? Oh, no, I did not. So, next part, we'll continue where we uh, left off right here. Alright, guys, thanks. Bye.